Today is Ohio Rare Disease Day, and right now Cleveland's Metro Health Medical Center and other area hospitals are working together to bring awareness to the issue. They're hosting a special free virtual conference this morning. You know, it's estimated rare diseases affect 1 in 10 people around the world. More than half are children, and 30% of those children will not live to see their 10th birthday. Meg Shaw joins us now live from Metro Health with the story of a woman from Florida who needed to come all the way here to Cleveland to get some help. Good morning, Meg. Hey, good morning to you, Danita and Katie. We have some really great care here in Northeast Ohio, and Caitlin Young tells us she wouldn't be living pain free right now if it weren't for the help of her doctors here at Metro. But she also told us that more research needs to be done and that more treatments need to be shared for rare diseases, which is why today's virtual uh, event is so important. Throughout most of her life, Caitlin Young has experienced some gastrointestinal issues. I had a very interesting case because um, a lot of people will have um, symptoms throughout their life. And I kind of had intermittent um, GI disorders for most of my life. But it was May of 2019 when things suddenly changed. It was like overnight. Um, one day I could eat and I was fine. And the next day I was in complete pain. In 2020, she was diagnosed with median arcuate ligament syndrome, also known as MALS, a rare disease that can cause severe pain and discomfort. Thanks to social media, she found a doctor, Dr. Kevin L. Hayek from Cleveland's Metro Health Hospital, and now she's living a pain-free life. I got surgery with him in November of 2020 and happy to say I can eat now with no pain. I can exercise again with no pain and life is just going really good. There's a fair number of patient support groups out there where depending on the symptoms, someone else may have had very similar symptoms that can then guide the patient. Today, there are more than 7,000 identifiable rare diseases with 35 million people in the U.S. and more than 400 million people worldwide seeking new treatments, a community, and above all else, compassion. So today, the Ohio Rare Action Network, local advocates, community members, and those affected by rare diseases are meeting virtually to address challenges surrounding diagnosis, access to treatment, and lack of approved treatment options for rare diseases. Caitlin says, if you find yourself in a position similar to hers, advocate for yourself and connect with others. I was told no by a lot of doctors, and if I was where I was now, I'd probably be on a feeding tube and not having any quality of life. We are so happy she got the help she needed here in Cleveland. All right, so that virtual Ohio uh, rare disease event kicks off at 10 this morning, runs until noon. You can still sign up online for free to attend that uh, workshop. It is uh, on the Ohio Rare Actions Network's website. We're going to be posting a link to their website on our app and on our website, so it makes it a lot easier for you. Reporting live, I'm Meg Shaw, News 5.